the ellipse 4, the pin and string method. I have two drawing pins pressed into the sheet and a string attached to them. To get the pins to grip, I have placed a piece of timber between the sheet of paper and the text square drawing board. The pins are located at the focal points of the ellipse. Start at one end of the major axis with the string taut and the pencil in contact with the paper, draw the elliptical curve. This is a very smooth way of drawing an ellipse but not suitable for an examination situation. The string is the length of the major axis. I have moved the pins in now about 10 millimeters. Now the string comes out fuller, so the ellipse is going to be wider. Same length but wider. Now that's one half of it and the top half and that's another ellipse done. The string is the full length of the major axis. In other words it goes up there and folds back. But if we took that small piece there and put it in from the pin out to the end the string would reach from one end of the major axis to the other. So the string is the length of the major axis. Now this is the string, when it's stretched out, it's exactly the length of the major axis. When I bring it up to the top here, this is half of the major axis and this is half of the major axis. Now I'm going to move the pins into the next position. Now the pins have been moved into the next position. There's the third ellipse now and again it's the minor axis is increasing in length as the pins get closer to the centre. Now these points here are called the focal points. That's the focal points of the ellipse. There's two focal points on each ellipse. Now I've just used one pin so I should get a circle now. So the string is attached just to one pin in the centre and just draw the curve around. And that's a circle. And that's ellipse for exercise complete.